Hello coin collectors, welcome back to another All Change Review. This week we're going back to look at the second coin released for Isambard Kingdom Brunel's bicentenary of his birth. We've already looked at the £2 coin for the man, the engineer, so today we're going to have a look at the coin for Paddington and his achievements. So, let's start with the value on this one. And of course it's going to be worth its face value of £2 as it's a current coin in circulation. But as a collector's item, I've had a look online at the last five sold from Circulation and they went for an average of £2.42, which I think is about right. They're worth 7,452,250 of these minted, which is a high number. And comparing it to the other Brunel coin when we looked at it, which went for 266. Um, I'd say these prices are about right, but I'll post a link below to the other video as well if you want to check that out. So, before we get on to the design of the coin itself, I'm just going to pick this one up and turn it over. And as you can see here, we've got the fourth portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. And as usual, I'll post a link below to the video where we cover off the previous portraits of Queen Elizabeth II on currency. So. Turning onto the edge here, you can see it's got a milled edge and it says so many irons in the fire. And this is a tribute to the extremely varied work that he was involved with. Now, coming back onto the front of the coin itself, the first coin was a celebration of the man Isambard Kingdom Brunel, where this coin here we have one of his achievements, which shows off the roof at Paddington Station. And this is the same Paddington station where Paddington Burn was named after as well. So also on the front here, we've got the denomination at the bottom, the year it was minted for on the top, and the name Brunel as well. So as this is a celebration to Brunel's achievements, I'd also like to do my own top five achievements of Brunel's work too. So start the music. Number five, we have Paddington Station. Brunel, who was appointed Chief Engineer of Great Western Railway in 1833, designed the station and it was opened by him in 1854. At number four, we have Avon Calling, with the design for the Clifton Suspension Bridge above the River Avon, which at the time was the longest span of any bridge in the world, and opened in 1864. Coming in at number three, we have the Great Western. When Brunel offered his services to the Great Western Steamship Company, he went on to design the longest, most advanced ship in the world at 236 feet and was launched in, in 1836. Just being beaten into the top spot at number two, we're on a boat, on a boat, on another boat with the SS Great Britain, launched in 1845, overtaking the Great Western. It was then the largest ship afloat and the first iron steamer to sail the Atlantic. And you can still visit her today in Bristol. And at number one, my personal favourite, we have the Royal Albert Bridge, opened linking Plymouth in Devon to Salt Ash in Cornwall in the UK, and it bears I.K. Brunel Engineer as a memorial to the great man as well. That brings to an end my top five Brunel achievements. But what's your personal favourites, and would you have liked to actually have seen a different one on the coin? Let us know in the comment section below, and please like and subscribe. And also remember, you can follow us on social media. But until next time, thanks for watching and keep collecting. Bye.